Hey guys, it's Nancy, the Handy Scandy. I wanted to share with you today a wonderful surprise. So, you know how Instagram, there's always all kinds of giveaways going on over there? Well, a couple weeks ago, maybe not even two weeks, anyway, it was the Stamp Market's fourth birthday slash anniversary celebration. And they generously were giving away four $100 gift cards to their store. I won one of them. I was so stinking excited. I couldn't believe it. So today I'm sharing with you my order because it just got here last night. And I want to share with you guys. I want to thank the stamp market and encourage and congratulate them to keep doing what they're doing. They're amazing. And I'm just going to jump right in to my little stamp market haul and it's not little <laughs> it is not little first of all look at that squiggle it's called a curly border but that is going to create so much fun so much fun I love that it was the first thing I put on my order and I could not take it out of my cart then there is this it's called the postcard die and I really need some different dies for my A2 size cards. And this looks like it will kind of fit that bill. It's right at five and a half. It's hard to tell while it's still in the packaging, but I'm not going to take everything out. So four and a quarter by five and a half with that fun postage um, detail on the edge. And then look at that sweetheart. So it's scalloped inside and out. And then it has the kind of piercing so you can stitch that you can do all kinds of fun things with that looking forward to that and look at their their sweet all those different colors in that line there that's their their logo or part of their logo anyway i love it cute 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 all right and then there is this it's called the gorgeous greetings and it coordinates the dies coordinate with the stamps i am in love with this font it's very, it's very feminine. It's very flowy. It's very kind of pink freshy, I think. But it's its own thing. They're their own company. They're their own thing. And I'm in love with it. And when I saw it, I had to get the dies. I'm not one that usually gets the dies. Not because um, I'm big with my machine. Because I'm not my... Um, what's what's it called? My Scanica. <laughs> She and I are not really good friends right now. We're, we're figuring each other out still. And I've had it for quite a while now. Anyway, this is fantastic. And you can see, I mean, they, they go together pretty easily, like the high. And all the feels, are you kidding? That's fantastic. And just hey, I always say hey. Oh, I'm excited about these. So sweet. And I struggle with sentiments. So that kind of helps me in that area because they're super sweet. They're super easy to choose. And then, you all know I love a rainbow, right? That's going to be fun to cut out. That can be shaker windows. I can, I can line this, and I can put red sequins or beads, like seed beads. Um, yeah, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet, and then whatever I want. These two could just be neutral. It could be a fun background. Oh, they could be a tone-on-tone -tone rainbow, like tones of red. Um... Gosh, it could be skin tones, you know, the whole diversity in our skin tones. That would be a pretty rainbow. <gasps> okay, okay, I'm inspiring myself. <laughs> and then this is a thank you. I don't have any thank yous. I think I have one. No, I have two that say thankful, but I don't have any thank yous. So just a simple thank you die cut with the shadow. And I love the font. I love the serif. It's kind of new, um, Times New Roman, right? Kind of that same, same feel to it. Very classic. I love it. And then this, I love me some foliage. Not so much, I mean, I love florals too. I've come to love florals. But foliage, I mean, you add some foliage to a piece and you've just added a lot to your piece. I mean, that might be what it needs to be taken up over the, over the top, so to speak but in a very subtle, soft, natural way. So, love that. And then here's another one. Again, it says thankful, and then it has that leaf dye. And it's called Lots of Leaves. And of course, you know, you can cut that out of various various colors of paper and, and have yourself a nice little background, or 
you can make a wreath with it you can do all kinds of things but I, I like that and then this one this sweet little die set so there's this frame the scallop frame and they're they're wonky the scallops are wonky they're not they're not symmetrical and then this one is more of a tag and then this is of course the word hi I think it's super sweet you can leave them all together you can cut them out individually I love it I think it's super sweet and that is my stamp market haul guys I think it's wonderful and I want to say thank you to the stamp market I want to say congratulations to them happy birthday happy anniversary keep doing what you're doing I appreciate you including me in your celebration and I think you have a new customer for life I will be back for sure Ta-da! Thanks, Stamp Market. Thank you, guys. All right. Thanks for sticking around. We are back, and I wanted to take another couple minutes and share my not-too-shabby haul with you. I ordered several things from Miss Jamie recently and her customer service is top-notch and I just wanted to share it with you so I think I placed my order on Friday it was shipped no it was Saturday I sh it shipped that same day and I got it yesterday which was Wednesday so yeah super super fast I'm mega impressed so obviously I got these dynamics from my favorite things they're the rectangles they're nesting rectangles and um, a2 rectangle stacks set two so I'm not sure what set one was <laughs> but anyway yeah so I definitely needed some rectangle dies so I got those and I got these edger dies <clears throat> excuse me from sunny studios they're called snippets custom craft dies so look at their cute little edgers. Aren't they sweet? I'm really going to enjoy playing with those. I sometimes feel like my edges are a little blah. Especially like these will cut your, your project down to size, but they won't give your edges any pizzazz, right? So sometimes you want to layer a smooth edge with, with a fancy edge. And I do have some edgers from Pink Fresh, but these are just different, and I think they're super fun. Well, let me put it back on the white. So you've got the zigzag, you've got this scallop with the, I don't know what that shape is called, <laughs> but that little cutout. And here's another scallop with just a tiny circle, and a scallop with, with nothing cut out, and then a teeny tiny little scallop, and a stitched detail there so they're super cute I'm gonna love playing with those and you can see how you can pair them up with one of these so that's going to give you a flat edge and then you can take this in on the inside and it's going to give you that detail so I think it's super cute and you could do it on the outside or flip it over and do it on the inside so lots of versatility there and you get to decide you could even mix and match you know you could have one with a one panel with a decorative edge, one with a straight edge if you like layers, and then you could have an, a different decorative edge and another straight. You get to decide. You get to decide. Talk about independence. <laughs> All right, and then I also got these sweet little scallops. What's it called? Fadoodle Frame Scallop Rectangle Die Set. Fadoodle. I think that's fun. I, I have more slim line dies than I do A2 and so I felt like some of my A2 cards needed a little a little pizzazz which of course I can use these for A2 slim line um, the mini slim line I can use those for anything and so these obviously are specific to A2 or you can use them as stacking layers for um, your slim line cards or your mini slim lines let me see anything else in that kind of family oh yes so these are dies as well Y'all, I know I've said before I love a quatrefoil, and I just was smitten when Honeybee came out with these for this new release. So it's two layer. I don't have a whole lot of background dies. So um, the ones I have, I think, might all be Honeybee, to be honest, or Gina Marie Designs. So this is a two layer. This actually cuts out the detail, 
and then this pierces it. Now I didn't cut it out. I'm actually just, just I just opened this last night when it came in the mail, so I haven't had a chance to really play. But you can see the stitching, so it just adds that pierced detail to this one. That's going to be super cool. I'm looking forward to playing with those again. That's the layer quatrefoil. So there's A2 cover plate top, A2 cover plate base, and of course, like it says, it's pierced. So, yeah, that's going to be fun. And I had to go with the stencil as well, and it's a layering stencil, just like that's a layering die. This is a layering stencil. And if you've not seen um, the sneak peeks and the samples that the Honeybee team has been has been putting out with this release. Um, you might want to check it out. I can't remember the name of the release, to be honest. They've got two releases live right now, but I think this one was um, the Hall not Halloween. Woo! Well, I'm way off. <laughs> the spring one, or maybe it was Valentine's. I don't know. Sorry, I don't want to give you wrong information. But yeah, so there's that's the base. That's layer one. This is layer two. So you see how you can add some really cool detail there. That is going to be fun, fun, fun to play with. Oh, yes. And then I got, this was my, my freebie, Would You Be Mine? It's from Scrapping for Less, who no longer does their kits and things. Miss Teresa is, um, she's kind of branching out and doing some other things, but she and Jamie have partnered together to um, continue to bring us some Scrapping for Less products. So I think that's really cute. That birdie is adorable. Obviously this was a Halloween, or why do I keep saying Halloween? <laughs> Valentine's set. But you know, you can use it for anything. You can use it for anything. We always send love mail, right? All of our mail is filled with love. The Would You Be Mine, that might be specific to Halloween. <laughs> Valentine's Day. Ooh, I think maybe I need to make a, a Halloween project. Which actually leads me to this. This is fall, not Halloween. But look at those sweet little foxies. Oh, this I saw this when it came out this past fall. And it was stunning. There are several, actually. But it's adorable. Look at that. Again, you guys know how I feel about my red rubber. This is the same. It's just gray rubber. But it's etched deeply. Look at all that detail in there. So it has the shroomies. It has the grass. It has the... the moon up in the tree there's some leaves mostly branches that is really cool that's going to be fun to play with and then this i just thought was adorable this is a new release from avery l it is called a head above so um when i did a crafty swap with the craft collabs group i think it was last summer um, Mona Toth was my partner and she sent me a very similar set. It was this giraffe and I can't remember who his partner was but they're in a plane. And it's an Avery L set so of course it's the same artistry. I think it's probably the same characters. But adorable. I can't wait to play with this. I love pennants, garlands, banners. Love, love, love. So I'm definitely going to have to put that to use as well. The little mouse carrying the cake. The little monkey carrying the gift bag, the tiger carrying the balloon, sweet little birdies, hats, confetti, stars, bow ties. Oh my goodness. Goodness, goodness. That's adorable. And then um, another little freebie, this sweet little confetti pack. I love the flat confetti versus um, the the sequins that have the that are all like kind of cupped. And so this, this is a mix between a confetti and a sequin because confetti, of course, is flat, but it doesn't typically have a hole, where a sequin is cupped or, or faceted, maybe might be a better word, um, and it does have the hole. So really cool. This one is called You Are My Sunshine Collection 3. So, all right. So this is my, my little haul from Jamie at Not Too Shabby. If y'all have never shopped at her shop, let me encourage you to do so. She has her own line of products. I'm on her um, Instagram digital design team. But she also has a store full of other brands. She's very much a supporter of our crafty community. And, of course, you know, she sells her own stuff. But she sells many, many other things, as you can see. I have a variety of different products and different companies represented here in this tiny little haul. 
So, oh, you know what else? I also got Kitsch Flamingo. I've already labeled it and put it away. This came from her shop, too. So the Distress Ink was in, some of the other products was in, but the Oxide is already sold out. So I am eagerly awaiting the Oxide to return into stock, and I will be getting that as well. So, all right, guys, that's it. That's my little haul. Um, hopefully, I'll be getting some new <laughs> videos up soon with some fun fun crafts made with some of these products so thanks for watching guys for spending some time with me i'm nancy the handy scandy we'll see you again real soon thanks bye bye